Hi guys! So today's video is of course a haul from Dublin. I went to Dublin last week and I of course bought some things because that was the reason I went up there. I didn't buy too much which is surprising since I always buy a lot of stuff when I go shopping but I kind of uh, pressured myself to not buy things that I did not really need. So yeah, I'm pretty much just going to show you what I got. If you're interested, I did get some K-pop things in a K-pop shop. I did show a little bit of that shop in a vlog that I did. It's the video just before this one. I can put it like up here or wherever uh, these things go. There is some footage of that if you want to see some, some of the stuff that that shop sells. Um, and if you guys would like in more information on that, you can comment down below with questions or anything. I've only been there once, um, but let me know if you need any help or anything. But as, as far as I know, it's the only shop in Ireland that sells K-pop things. Anyway, let's just get into the video because I have a habit of going on and on to myself. So the first place I did go to was Victoria's Secret on Grafton Street. I'm not going to show you what I bought because it's underwear. In my opinion, Victoria's Secret so far is the best underwear that I've ever bought. It is worth my money. It is so comfortable. The next place that we went to was Dundrum Town Centre. I thought it was called Dundrum Shopping Centre. When you go there, it's named Dundrum Town Centre. So we never went there before and I said we'd go there because it was different than going to Jervis all the time. and. Grafton Street and stuff so we went there and the only piece of clothing besides underwear from Victoria's Secret I got was this top from Zara. I really love the sleeves on it. I'm very into simplistic kind of styles when it comes to dressing especially with like tops and stuff. I don't like big patterns so this was really cute and it was only a tenner. It, it was only a tenner guys. I really like Zara's style at the moment, it's very fitting to mine. It's, you know, casual and simple, but also trendy at the same time. The next place I think we went to was Tiger. I got a roll of sellotape, pretty big roll of sellotape, because I do sell things on my Depop. I have a few things up there at the moment. I have some Adidas stuff that i barely worn and I just don't wear anymore. And I've had them for so long. I have some regular clothes as well. So if you guys want to check that out, my username is Kira Rosh, I think. But if you want to check that out, go ahead. The next thing I got was a new moisturizer. I got it in Boots. It was on sale for like nearly half the price. It's Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. Um, it's mainly for night because they were out of the day one. So I said I'd get the night one and try it. I do like it. It's very similar to the moisturizer I'm using at the moment, which is the Neutrogena hydrogel but it's pretty similar to that it's got the exact same color it's got you know a gel like it's more thicker and I think it's also a bit more oily but it does actually moisturize me because my skin is pretty sensitive I can't really have fragrant things and also if it's too thick it's not going to do anything for me the next things I got were from a shop that were just after the um the k-pop shop um, I'll show you the K-pop things at the end because they're the most stuff and they're probably the most anticipated as well. Um, but I got these stickers because I do, I do do bullet journaling at the moment. It's a way to get my creativity out because I, you know, I go through phases when it comes to creativity. I could like be sewing one day and I could be painting another, and then the next day I could be writing songs or something. Like there's just so many different things that I like to do. So this, I got four stickers and I think it was four for a fiver or something or four for three euro. So the first one is a Supreme sticker because you know, I can't afford real Supreme so I'm just going to pretend that I do. Yeah. I also got this thing which is Supreme, you know, money, gun, whatever you want to call it. Next as well I got the Puma logo, they had Nike and Adidas logos and everything. I actually really like Puma at the moment, I like their brand. Um, their clothes as well are really cool and the shoes and everything so thumbs up to Puma. And the next sticker I got was this hot air balloon because it reminded me of BTS's album and I'm not going to even guess which one it is. I know for um, House of Cards on Spotify I think that's the main picture for it. The next thing I got was a journal slash notebook. I got it in TK Maxx up there. It was four euro. 
And if you're interested in bullet journaling and you don't want a notebook that has no lines and you don't want a notebook that has lines, this is perfect for you. It's called Fabriano. They had it in red and blue when I was there, so I'm guessing they only do primary colours. So it has dots instead of lines and they're very discreet dots so you can barely see them. I recommend getting that if you're, you know, if you live in Ireland, England, whatever, and have TK Maxx. And the paper quality is really good. The markers that I use for writing are the Stadler ones, you know, the ones you get in the really long packet. But they don't bleed through at all, so really good quality paper, I would recommend it. So now we're going to go on to the last final section, which is the K-pop things. Ah. So I bought uh, a good amount of things, I wouldn't say a lot. So the first thing that I bought that I decided I was getting straight away was the Lovers of Tear album. This honestly is my favourite album, but this is my first proper album comeback and stuff. But I absolutely love this album. But I literally love the song so much on it. My favourite one is Paradise. What's yours? Comment down below. I love the meaning of it and the music and everything. It's just the, it's like my style of music, of listening to music and stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy. Oh yeah, I got the, I got the Aura version. Um, I am actually uploading a unboxing because I also ordered the Love Yourself Answer album and it came in the mail literally the same day I went to Dublin. So I am, I have a unboxing film so you can see like what photo card I got, what version of answer that I got and you know the posters and everything um, and the stickers, everyone gets the same stickers but you can see the stickers. So I will upload that after this video. The next thing I got was this tin box and it has selfies of all the members in it. Uh, they're not official photo cards or anything, they, they look like Polaroids. Pretty much there's about five, six photos of each member it starts off with Namjoon or RM. There's 35 photo cards in here and as you can see there's about five or six of each member. Um, I absolutely love these, these are great for my bullet journal as well so I can just blue tack them in. The next thing I got was this A4 sheet with meme stickers of BTS. All my merch that I got in the K-pop shop is BTS because they're, I, I do listen to all other people as well but they're my favourite, they're the only, like I can only focus on one group and they're the first group that I ever came across. I used three in my bullet journal already. Now on to posters. I got two posters. I got one that that came with the tier album but they had that, you know, packaged separately. So it was rolled up. Since I got the ore version it is this. And the final poster I got, I put it in my um, A2 is it A2? A3. But it's the one, I think it's white version, correct me if I'm wrong. Future Kira, correct me. But it's this one. I got this poster for myself. It has their signatures on it. So I'm very happy with that. It will actually go really well with the color that I'm painting my room. I don't know where to put them, but I'll put them somewhere. So that's everything that I got in Dublin last week. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up please and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm going to be doing some more K-pop related videos and also just, you know, regular videos. I have a ton of ideas written down. Uh, let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and, you know, other stuff. I'll leave them in the description, but my Twitter and Instagram is just Kira Rochford. Um, it'll probably be at the outro anyway and I'll leave it in the description if you want the quick link. Yeah, that's it from me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!